company manufactures wishbones for car suspensions and sells them to car makers. A wishbone is part of the front steering and suspension. They cost £32 each to manufacture and they sell them for £84, but if they're outside the design spec, they have to buy them back at £94. £32 to manufacture, 512 of them, means the cost of manufacture is £16,000. We sell them at £84, so a batch of 512 perfect wishbones will give the, an income of £43,000. Subtract that one from the other means we get a net profit of 2,600. We get a net profit of 26,624 pounds. Now, what does our production look like? Our mean is 220 and our standard deviation is four. So that's one standard deviation, two standard deviations and three standard deviations are there minus one standard deviation, minus two standard deviations, minus three standard deviations. Now the specification is 216 mil plus or minus four. So that's 216 mil plus four minus four. So the area in green represents the good components, which are 14 plus 34, which is 48% of our production, which means 52% of our production is scrap. Let's see what that means in cash. 52 times 512 is, is 266.24, so that's 267 components at £94 each is £25,000. So our net profit now is 26,000 minus 25,000 is actually £1,526. Part B. If the company adjusts the machine so that the mean becomes 216 instead of 220 so effectively we're going to move that whole curve four millimeters in that direction so now the mean is 216 the design spec remains the same so 216 plus 4 is 220 216 minus 4 is 212 which means that we've now got 68 percent of the population are good parts and therefore 32% are scrap. So in cash terms we have 163.8 so that means we've got 164 scrap components times 94 pounds each gives us a cost of scrap of 15,000 pounds. Take that from 26,000 and we get a net profit of 11,208. Part C. In addition to adjusting the mean to 216, the company now reduced the standard deviation from 4 to 2. Effectively what that means is we're going to stretch our curve in both directions equally. So it now looks like this. 216 plus 2 plus 4 and 216 minus 2 minus 4. So now we've got 14 and 34 is 48, double that is 96. 96% 96 of our production is good and 4% of our production is bad. So in cash terms, what does that mean? 4% of 512 is 20.48, so we've got 21 defective components at £94 each, that's £1,974. Take that from 26000 and we get a net profit of 24650 Part D. For each of your answers, state why you think the answer is right. Well, the change from 52% scrap to 32% scrap gives us a rising profit of £9,600. And the change from 32 down to 4 gives us a rising profit of £13,000. So roughly that's £4,800 for each 10%. Double 4800 we get about the 9000 and triple that we get the 13500 Each of these rows gives us the same increase in profit, so we can be reasonably confident that our model is correct.